Alrighty, this is the 2020 Porsche Macan and this Porsche's best-selling vehicle and there's a reason why. It's a triple purpose vehicle. It can be your daily driver, it can be your U-Haul, or you can take it to the track. But who takes it to the track, right? Stick to the script, Randy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll stick to the script, Randy. This is definitely one of the best SUVs you can buy today with performance, luxury, and some technology. But it comes at a price, folks. Since it's loaded, it was $66,250. But that's pricey, right? That's why you get it pre-owned because of depreciation. You can find this currently on Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles' lot for $57,071. They had to make it hard, right? They couldn't make it an even number. And by the way, this Macan only has 2,400 miles. Wait, wait, 2,400 miles? It's right there. It's practically brand new, which makes this a stellar deal. And it comes with a full warranty. The information for this SUV will be in the link located in the description below. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of the car to start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. This review wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Mercedes-Benz of LA and Rafael Gonzalez. They have a wide variety of sedans, SUVs, e-wagons, and AMGs. Check out their website, go down there, call Rafael and make an appointment with him. He'll work with you and help you get into a vehicle you're looking for. Here are a few words from Rafael. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rafael Gonzalez here at Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles in downtown LA, sunny Southern California. Please, if you like today's video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you wanna like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of that fun stuff. Show some support for Randy's reviews and look forward to more reviews he's gonna be doing on some of our vehicles here in the near future. And I do speak Spanish for those of you that speak Spanish. También hablo español. So don't forget the name. If you wanna work with me, my information and the links will be in the description below. Please check it out. Don't forget the name, all right? Rafael G, making it easy. Peace. All Macans have a clamshell hood designed for the wow factor. The fender opens up with the hood just like a Toyota Supra and Austin Martin DB11. This Porsche Macan comes with a 2.0 liter 4 cylinder turbo engine that pushes out 248 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. All that power goes through a 7 speed automatic transmission. 0 to 60 comes in at 6.3 seconds. With the Sports Chrono package, it will get you to 60 in just 6.1 seconds. MPGs is 19 in the city and 23 on the highway. The Macan was revealed at the 2013 LA Auto Show and got massive positive responses. It went into production and arrived in dealerships in 2014, sold as 2015 models. Well, not much has changed since then. One noticeable change were the taillights. I love the new standard three-dimensional LED taillight strip that came out in 2019. The design is more in line with the Porsche 911, Cayenne, and Panamera. The light strip makes the Macan seem wider and makes it look more modern. The rear stands out among all of its competitors, the Mercedes GLC and BMW X3. The Macan comes with the rear spoiler, these 18-inch wheels, chrome exhaust tips, dual-color side view mirrors, and rear tinted windows. The four-point LED daytime running light on each side of the headlamp unit are standard. Europeans think they look cool, but people in the US think they're just okay. What I think are cool are the air blades and the integration of the turn signal in the air blade. The large air intakes in the front feed air into the turbo and cools the engine down. To open the hatch, the button isn't on top of the license plate. It's not on the light bar. You'd never expect where it is. It's on the windshield wiper. Open it up. What you see here is 17.6 cubic feet of space. 
It's a little less than the Mercedes GLC, Audi A5, and the BMW X3. You get rings to hold a cargo net, a 12 volt outlet, some storage space, lift the floor up and you get an 18 inch low profile red rimmed spare tire. There are some instructions. One, read the instructions. Two, keep it at 50 miles per hour. And three, put on the tire. Wait, that didn't make sense. I don't think I need instructions. I need to put the tire on before I keep it at 50 miles per hour. Those Germans are always doing things backwards. To get more room, just pull the lever on the seat. The seats go down really easy. What you see here is 52.9 cubic feet of space. A 65 inch TV fits back here perfectly. Let's see how many Randys fit in here. The opening is low and wide. The bumper isn't protected, so you're gonna have to get some plastic film to put right here to protect it. Although it does have a metal protector on the plastic piece inside, but not, not on the outside. Let's see how many of me fits in here. <laughs> okay. See ya. <laughs> About one and a half of me fit in here comfortably. I just want to say thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Rothfield for lending me their Porsche Macan for the day. If you're in the market for a luxury used car, a certified or new Mercedes-Benz, just come on down here, check out their website, call Rafael, make an appointment with him. Give him an opportunity to win your business. His information is in a link located in the description below. And by the way, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. It really helps me get cars like, or SUVs, like the Porsche Macan and cars like the Mercedes-Benz to review for you. You must at least get the premium package since it comes with a bunch of options including this huge panoramic roof with a sunshade. The interior has a mixture of synthetic leather, Alcantara and a little bit of aluminum. It's a lot nicer than some of its competitors. Some of the buttons and knobs you see on the doors and center stack are shared between the 911, Cayenne and Panamera. They're super solid, nice and built with quality. The front seats in the basic Macan are really comfortable and hold you in place with Alcaterra inserts in the middle and they have just enough bolstering. They're 8-way adjustable that you can upgrade to the adaptive sports seats for $2,000 which are 18-way adjustable and a little more firm. You'll be more than satisfied with these seats. This is where the Porsche shines. The interior hasn't changed since 2015 but doesn't need to. No need to go into the infotainment system for your settings. All those settings have a physical button or knob. There are no sensors or writing pad either. I love the layout. Everything is easy to read and use. Enjoy this because the next generation of Macans will have half these physical buttons. You get two analog displays and one digital display. Similar layout to the other Porsche models. To control the display, just move the roller on the right side of the steering wheel. You'll see the GPS, tripometer, phone, audio, tire pressure, and torque split. This is a 10.9 inch high definition touchscreen display that is easy to use with fundamental information, options, and settings. All these buttons can be overwhelming at first. You just have to get used to them since there's a system to all this madness. All your media and music buttons are underneath the screen. Below that are all your air control buttons. Then below that are all your performance buttons. Porsche is known to have a lot of blank buttons so don't get bent out of shape. You can get all the options there are. Some will still be blank. It's a design thing. This Macan may have less than six cylinders found in the Macan S, but this four cylinder Macan doesn't feel less of a Porsche. It's just a little slower at 6.3 seconds, zero to 60, right? For someone who's a good driver, who drives an everyday commute and not a maniac driver like me, racing on the freeways and streets, you won't even know the difference with the extra power and performance because you're basically paying eight to $10,000 to upgrade to a Macan S why do it if you don't need to? Because this is an excellent SUV the way it is. This driving position is perfect. Something you'd expect from Porsche. Everything is laid out perfectly, just like a Mercedes Benz. And I love this steering wheel because everything is on here. Well, mostly everything. 
and you practically never have to take your hands off, which I love. And there are quite a bit of buttons right here on the center stack, but you get used to it. There's a bunch of blank buttons too. That's something you may not get used to, but it's not gonna make or break me from buying this car. It's pretty awesome. It looks really sporty. It's an excellent layout. Let's do it. Sounds familiar? Well, it might since this engine is the same one found in the Volkswagen GTI. It's also in the Audi and Volkswagen four-cylinder vehicles. Of course, the exhaust systems are different, but the tone may be the same. The tuning may be different as well. It's a good and fun engine that can be reliable. Just make sure you stick to the scheduled maintenance. It comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile warranty. So there you go, the 2020 Porsche Macan, located at Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. I'm Randy. See ya! <laughs>